This is the third video of the tutorial series on programming SCAR. In this video we're going to explore some of the basic commands that SCAR offers that deal with the mouse. For example, clicking or moving the mouse. It should be pretty fun. Now I know that many of you who are watching this probably came from some uh, SCAR, I mean RuneScape related forum like SRL forums or some other RuneScape cheating forum. In this case, I have to warn you not to use any of the commands that I give you in this video on RuneScape. RuneScape has ways of detecting when people use these kind of commands uh, that I'm going to show you here because they're not random enough. They're really linear and really pre too precise. Later In later videos, I'm going to show you some SRL commands that uh, you can actually use in RuneScape. But for now, just use this video, just use the commands in this video um, to practice to get used to SCAR. Don't use them on RuneScape. Alright, let's begin. If you've seen the last video, this should look pretty familiar to you. In the last video, we just learned how commands work, how uh, SCAR sees commands and it, it does something given the options that you give it right here. For example, the right line is a command that tells SCAR to write whatever you give it, this pink text in the bottom bottom right here. So let's clear and let's try writing. See, it works. Hello, Jack, whatever you write here. So SCAR has actually has many different commands. The ones we're going to learn in this video are uh, deal with the mouse. So there are two main functions of the mouse. The mouse can move and click. Let's start with clicking. The first command we're going to learn is click mouse. And it has three options. See the x, y integers. The x, y are the, the coordinates where you want it to click. And the left boolean is actually a boolean is uh, a type of um, option that only has has two different possibilities. You, you can either put true or false. So if you put true in this case, true would mean that it would click the left mouse button and false would mean that it would click the right mouse button. So uh, for simplicity's sake and so that you can see what it's doing, let's just make it click the right mouse button. So the first thing we're going to do is use the color picker and click a spot on the screen where we want it to click. Now you should choose a different spot for your computer because mine might be a little too big for you. And if they are too big, it'll glitch. So just make sure to pick your own coordinates. So just click anywhere on the screen, and you'll see this little thing right here. Coordinates will pop up right here. Just select them, copy, uh, control C, and paste, control V. And for the last option, remember it's true or false. And we, since we want it to right click, we'll put false. True would make it left click. So now let's, let's run it and see what happens. See, it clicked right there. And notice how it didn't move the mouse there slowly. You couldn't see it move the mouse. It just automatically went there and clicked. Well, there's actually a move mouse. There's a there's a way to move the mouse the exact same way without clicking though. This command uh, on. this command is move mouse, and it only has two options: the coordinates. So let's just use the same coordinates. Control V it should be still on the clipboard. Okay, let's run it. Well, let's remove this for now. See how it works. All right. See the mouse move over here automatically. Now there's another command for moving the mouse that moves the mouse slower, so you can see it. Uh, so let's. This command is move mouse smooth. So it moves the mouse smoothly. And same thing. Two coordinates. Those are the only options. And let's run it. See a little a little slower. It's still pretty fast, but it's a little slower. Now let's combine the move mouse and the click mouse. You notice that the click mouse clicked it automatically. So to make it to have the mouse move slowly and then click it, we should we should use move mouse move to move the mouse to this coordinate, and then we use click mouse to automatically click on the same coordinate. This way, it'll it'll create the illusion that the mouse is moving there first and clicking it. So let's just add on to this. We're going to use a command called wait first. Wait does exactly what it sounds like. It waits. A number of milliseconds. And remember that a thousand milliseconds is the same as one second. We should always do this to reduce lag in SCAR. SCAR can lag if you do a lot of things at once without waiting. So just uh, just a small wait, 10 milliseconds. That's one hundredth of a second. You won't even you won't even uh, you won't even realize it. You won't notice it, but it'll help smooth things out. And then let's use the click mouse command that we learned earlier, and we use the same coordinates. Remember that we have to move there and then click in the same spot. So, 
do this and let's use false again. Alright, so it'll write this. Scar will write this, whatever you tell, hello Jack. Then it will move slowly, move smoothly to this, co to this coordinate. Then it will wait 10 milliseconds, that's one hundredth of a second. And it'll click in the same exact spot, but right click. False means right click. Let's run it. And see, move a little slower and right clicked. Finally, let's learn two more commands for, for um, dealing with clicking the mouse. These commands are hold mouse and release mouse, and they do exactly what they sound like. Hold mouse just presses the mouse at a specific point that you tell it, and you can specify a right mouse button or a left mouse button, just like in click mouse. But it, but it holds the mouse and doesn't let go until you tell it to release mouse. This is really good if you want to drag something across the screen, for example, or highlight something. So let's do that. Let's highlight something. So um, let's tell, let's use it. First, we have to hold mouse. So we'll say hold mouse and let's choose a coordinate. Let's, uh, let's select, select this right here. So let's make a click right here first. Hold mouse here and release here. So we click here. And then for the first coordinate, put it in here. And we want it to left click because we want it to drag. So left click, which is true. Then once again, remember to wait a little bit. So wait 10. Now let's move the mouse right here somewhere. So we'll move mouse smooth. Move mouse smooth. And we choose a coordinate that's right here. So let's do that. Put it in here. Remember to, okay, it doesn't have true or false. It's just move mouse. Wait again, let's wait a little bit. And let's do release mouse. And we use the same coordinates, just copy paste them, and true because we told it to hold, hold down the left mouse button here, we have to tell it to release that left mouse button here. Let's try run it. Okay, highlighted this area. So this is about it for the mouse commands. If you need some more commands, remember that you can always go to help F1 and go down, scroll down to mouse and uh, keyboard functions and just, just look at some of those. They're a little more complicated and not really necessary at this point, but if you want to go a little deeper, you can. Uh, for now, just practice what you learn. Maybe, uh, maybe you try to write a script that, um, I don't know, shoots down your computer or something, pull a prank on someone. Uh, well, that, that's about it for now. Tune in next time when we'll explore some keyboard functions.